In days of yore, Her Majesty, Empress Pharaoh, sent forth her knights on a quest for the elusive thing known as creativity. They scoured the earth far and wide, both in expected and unexpected locations. This night's first find was at a flea market in Mobile. A craftsman sat there making hand-carved canes from ordinary branches. The second find was four hand-painted panels covering the front of a derelict store in downtown Mobile. This is an example of street art. Delving even further into the back streets of downtown Mobile, I came across an old building that had been converted into a home with authentic, intricate wrought iron work. Deciding to find a shady place and to take a short rest from my quest, I came upon a shady place called Bienville Square, where to my unbelieving eyes, I came across a concrete oyster shell that was hand-painted the scenes from downtown Mobile. Moving along to the Mobile Mardi Gras Museum, I came across two pieces of creativity. First, a long train from the Mardi Gras gown that had been made from pieces of the mother's train when she had been queen 40 years earlier. The other piece was a wooden table on loan from the Strikers, the oldest mystic society in Mobile. Continuing to wander the streets of Mobile, I was confronted with a large metal angel outside of one of the churches. My quest then took me to Enterprise, Alabama, the city of the Bold Weevil Monument, where at the city hall, there are two unique bold weevils that were discovered, one representing the mayor, the other the police department. The last item of creativity was an alligator head carving at the Sea Lab Public Aquarium. The Empress had charged her knights that they also must come up with something creative of their own design. Thus, after much pondering, a hermit crab was born from a oyster drill snail shell, clay, pipe cleaners, and Google eyes. And so ends this quest for creativity.